All right, what's up everyone? Nick Atkin here, South China Morning Post in Bangkok, Thailand. Got an unexpected surprise visit from the GOAT, Mighty Mouse Demetrius Johnson. How are you enjoying it? Good, good. Just uh, in my hotel room, like I said, and uh, just looking up how to finish my uh, my gaming desk. So my, my table, it's a, it's a live red sequoia uh, edge. So I'm just trying to figure out how to finish it. <laughs> what do you mean finish it? Like styling it out or what? Well, no, it's, it's already been... Uh, through the sander, grid it, it's ready to go. It just needs to finish on top. But um, there's a couple of cracks in the, one of the, on the sides and I was talking to my wife and I'm trying to see how big the cracks are. So I'm trying to do epoxy resin on it. And I'm like, man, I just ordered a quart of it. I'm like, am I gonna do epoxy on top of it? Or what am I gonna do exactly? So I'm just trying to, you know, search on YouTube, get all this knowledge. And uh, when I get home, I get right back to work. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. You you do take a lot of attention to detail, don't you, uh, in your mixed martial arts career. So, yeah, I, th I think gaming is right at your heart. I've been watching a bit of your Twitch channel as well. Uh, I enjoyed some of them. I, I think I saw a, a big video where you talked about the Paddy and Ariel uh, oh. feud. That that kind of blew up a bit as well. But uh, what what are you playing at the moment then? Um, we just finished Elden Ring, uh, so we got yeah. our first playthrough. Uh, Dude, I gave that. that up after like a day. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Man, it, I, I can see why the game got game of the year. It's an absolutely masterpiece, uh, 10 out of 10. I mean, the customization and just the, the choices you can make from what you the build you want to go. Yeah, what was your build? Um, my build was a blood build. So at, at the beginning, I was going um, intellect build with the moon veil, which is a katana in the game. I'm, I'm a, a, a dex build. And after a while, like those bosses just hit so hard. So then I went for big sword strength, uh, strength and uh, vigor build. Then after that, you know, I ran into the fire giant. And then everyone's like, dude, you need to use the blood katana. You need to use uh, Burbs of Blood. So I went back to my dex build, which is my favorite, and then ended up finishing the game with that. Do you think it deserved to be game of the year over yeah. God of War? 1,000%. 1,000%. I mean, I love God of War. I love Kratos. I love the whole storyline. But I feel like God of War is, is it's a great game. But, you know, when you have the open world concept with uh, Elden Ring, and you can choose whatever you want, and the online PvP and there's just way more things that are going uh, better for Elden Ring than with God of War. It's basically, here is the story, here is the moveset, you get this, and that's it. It's almost like Devil May Cry, but set into the mythology days. So, yeah, I absolutely agree. I just found it too hard, DJ. I, suppose, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm, I must be a bit of a casual, right? No, no, not a casual. It's a hard game. I mean, it took me literally, you know, the Fire Giant took me probably about six hours uh, I think the last boss took me three out, three and a half hours, and then the boss before that took just me just dying over and over, again. just dying over and over, getting the patterns down, having the perfect run. I mean, it, it just takes a perfect assistant of run. I mean, obviously the biggest thing with Elden Ring is that, like, let's say you get to a certain spot in the game or the or a boss, you can't kill it. You can always leave and go do something else and get yeah. stronger, come back and doing that. But I was refusing to do that. That's what took me three hours to beat the final boss. And the game has 238 bosses. I might got maybe 38 bosses down. So the game has so much more to offer to somebody. And it took my, my first playthrough took me 54 hours. Don't know if I should be proud or, or, or upset <laughs> hey, what about does, it. What does your family think of this? <laughs> oh, they love it. Uh, my wife supports it, obviously. <laughs> if it wasn't for her, then, you know, my gaming channel would be taken off. So, but yeah, they love it and I love it. And it's it's kind of like my coping and uh, decompressing. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. I, I think I've been gone for a month uh, back in the UK, just came straight here. Want to get back to Hong Kong, play God of War, but maybe I should pick up that Elden Ring. Or yeah, what? pick it up, man. Just give it time and, and just pick the right build that where you enjoy it. I mean, I just got the game is amazing. Well, another clip I saw on your channel, Mighty Gaming, I think it is mm -hmm. on YouTube. You were rolling with Gary Tonin, yeah, uh, who's on the card here. Have you have you caught up with Gary here? Yeah, I did an elevator. I told him wish him luck. I'm super excited to watch him fight. Uh, Gary Tonin is an absolutely amazing gra grappler, a uh, great human being as well. And yeah, man, it, it was good just to get a chance to actually mix up with him. And those guys, you know, Gary, Mike Michi, uh, Gordon Ryan, just the whole, the New Wave team. I know Mikey isn't with the New Wave team, but the whole, you know, Bertola brothers, all those guys at IBJJF and uh, ADCC, they're just on a different level when it comes to grappling, right? And I wanted to be able to see what it felt like. And I went with a couple of guys, one of the 18-year-old over there, his name is uh, Juan, and pff, just a leg lock game. I was like, yeah, see, I need to punch you guys in the face <laughs> because you touch my knees and my ankles, I'm, I'm hitting you. Uh, but it was good to grab all those guys and just see a different look. 
Well, yeah, so the reason you are here, you're doing a meet and greet right before the show, I think, 7.30 a.m. So the show starts at 8, 8 a.m. here. That's be 8 p.m. in primetime U.S., is that right? I don't know. I, My time zone's a little... I mean, keep track. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you'll, you'll be there just before the show starts here in Bangkok. Um, so you're going to be happy to meet some of the fans here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I've been to uh, Thailand one time before. Uh, Phuket, it was on an island uh, just for the beaches and whatnot. But I'm super excited and it's super excited for the show tomorrow. We're going to be commentating the last three fights oh, on the one uh, card. So the Mikey fight, uh, Super Lake, and obviously the Chingy and Super Bond fight. Oh, wow. They, they drafted you in on commentary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it might be something I may be transitioning into after I'm done fighting, which, you know, if, if you follow my channel, I, I mean, I've been streaming on Twitch for nine years. So me talking in front of a camera and a mic and giving my opinion on how fights go isn't something that's foreign to me. You know, I've done some live broadcasting before on mixed martial arts itself back in the day on, on you know, on, um, I forgot what channel it was, uh, Fuel TV. So, um, yeah, I've, I've talked in front of stuff before. Been there, done it. Right. Been there, done it before. So I, I, it won't be, you know, it'll be a walk in a park. Not a walk in a park, but I think the hardest thing that I'll have trouble with is just enunciating everybody's name yeah. correctly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to go back and listen to it. I won't be able to hear it in the uh, media seats, but um, you will also be launching, I think, the pre-sale tickets or the official ticket launch for one fight night 11 i want to say you and uh, adriano doing the trilogy in may denver the first show in the u.s super excited about that uh like you said may 5th colorado broomfield looking forward to it the trilogy with adriano rice uh for the flyweight belt and gonna go out there and just do my thing yeah i mean there's not much else to be said is there you guys have been in a back and forth for two years now uh, it's just about respect, isn't it? You know, there was a, a great picture when, when you won uh, the last one, you shook each other's hands. And then there's an exact mirror image of when he beat you, shook each other's hands. It's all respect, isn't it? Yeah, all respect. You know, Adriano is a great athlete, uh, one, of the, one of the longest reigning champions in the flyweight division in one championship. You know, I know he's gone back and forth, had trilogy fights with, you know, uh, Kyrat Akhmatov. I think they're going to be, they want to do the trilogy. Right or no? I feel like Kyrie beat him and then he beat Kyrie. Yeah, so he didn't do uh, Kyrie and him. Um, I know he had a trilogy with Jehe Stakio. Um, so now he's gonna have a trilogy with me. So he's kind of uh, been in this territory before. I have as well, but typically I just go two and zero, oh, like with against my opponents. Um, but obviously he didn't go that that way with this gentleman. So I'm gonna go out there and see how this goes. It's pretty bold, you know. You could have said, ah, oh, you know, I want to face another challenger. You know, I've been. Yeah, you know, obviously, it is what it is, right? I don't get to, I'm not the matchmaker. I don't get to dictate what goes on with, with my career. I mean, I kind of do. I could have had some pushback, but I'm so far in my career, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just here to have a good time. Don't want to be here for a long time. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. You know, obviously, yeah. we're going to lose this fight. You know, I'm I going to go see what's next. <laughs> Yeah, um, well, I look forward to it. Uh, any other names you want to see on that U.S. debut, you can think? Yeah, I th definitely think we need to get Sage Northcutt back out there, get him. Um, that's some more American blood. And I think I would like to see a lot more American talent on the card. You know, I know Janet Todd, she's an American as well. Get her uh, some stage light in front of her home country. And just, you know, even Angela Lee, I think that would be good too. Obviously, you know, the passing of Victoria yeah. Lee, if she's ready to come out, come back and compete. I know she's, you know, from Hawaii. Uh, it'll be good to see more athletes who are kind of stateside to be able to compete on uh, U.S. soil. Yeah, I just, you know, I had to ask you as well about that. It's, it's a bit of a sad tone here all weekend. They're going to have a tribute tomorrow video to Victoria. Uh, just shocking news. And I'm sure as a father, you can relate to the pain that um, her parents are going through. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I had to bury my sister um, and it was like, well, you know, it's hard. There's no words said to, to make to say to make everything feel better. But, you know, a parent shouldn't have to bury the child. The child should be burying the parent. So, you know, my condolences to the Lee family and wishing, you know, nothing but just privacy and peace. And when they're ready to come back to compete, come back and compete. If you don't want to compete, you don't have to compete. You know, it's there's there's more to life than just, you know, trying to get back to the, you know, the cage or the circle side and be able to compete, you know. Take two years, three years off. Enjoy your daughter. And, and there, I know a Christian they have, they have a child that I know uh, Angela has a child. Take off, be parents for a little while, you know? Fighting ain't going nowhere. This shit ain't going nowhere. It's gonna be here and it's when you guys are ready to come back. So take your time, take all the time you need to get your mind right. Yeah, well said. Um, well, there's a few other people here who want to talk to you, so I'll just wrap it up very quickly. Uh, yeah, Fight Night 6 this Saturday, Bangkok. What are you looking forward to most, DJ? 
I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to most is just being here and getting my chance to get my feet wet as a commentator, you know, and do it on a, you know, one championship. I'm looking forward to it. And being able to see Chingy and Super see how that fight plays out as well. Yeah, just being out here to have a good time. All right. Thanks a lot, DJ. Pleasure. Thank you.